Hello. In this video, we will try to create siege effects in Cinema 4D. So let's start by creating cylinder. And before making it editable, I will turn off caps. And now I will make it editable. And I will select the top edge. And all that something like that and now i will pull that edge down something like that and put that cylinder into a subdivision surface And turn off edge breaks. Okay, let's make a, another one right in the middle. Double click on that loop and the select air action now. Bevel. Let's select those edges and I will scale them. And let's add some loop cuts around that cut. Okay, let's press Q. That looks okay. Now let's make some splines. I will double click here. And now I will go to Mesh, Comments, and Edge to Spline. Now I'll create a spline based on that selected edge. And I will name that 1. And let's make another one here. I name that two. But I will merge those three points. Okay, now let's create the stitch. Let's add a rectangle. and scale it really small and then make it editable and i will make that point the first point and now turn off the close plane It's still too big, so let's make it smaller. Okay. Now I will change the axis. So enable axis and enable the snap, vertex snap. Actually, also spline snap and I will snap it here and maybe in the middle right here and make it in the middle now I will make a circle a little small And let's add a sweep object and put them inside that. And 
and also I will change my spline type to B spline. Okay. That's too much polygon count, so I will decrease them first. Let's change the angle of the spline. Now I will lower the circle. Okay, now I will turn off caps. We don't need them. And let's make it 0.5 or 0.4. Now let's create a cloner object and put the sweep in that. I will change my cloner mode to object and in the object tab I will put my first spline. But We have some unwanted points here, so I will select them and delete. We just need two points. Okay, let's go to the cloner and I will make, let's say, 50. Okay, that looks okay. We can play it. Or we can do another cut in here. So I will make a bevel so it will hold the edge better. can load the radius now let's do the same thing for that part I will just copy that clone that we created and I will replace that object with other spline So the rotation is not correct. To fix that, I will go to transform and give a minus 90 degree. And I will increase the count also. can give some offset to make it match let's do the same thing here I will select that edge and make a bevel I think that's okay. Let's see the polygon count. It isn't much. And you can always decrease that. 
by changing the angle. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked that video and I see you in the next story.